Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I'm going to work with uh, filament and I'm going to show you. So if you go to filamentphp.com we have new version. Three features here and if we scroll down we have this improved theme customization. I have prepared a project so here I have created a project and I have created uh, two resources, filament resources. Just to show you right now here we have the theme which is the default one we have as you can see indigo default color you can change the dark and light theme here if you like now if you don't like the colors here let's go and see in the documentation of filament get started so you need to install filament first you need to change the minimum stability on the composer json to be dev and then around the Composer Require and PHP Artisan Filament install. Also create a user. And then if you if we scroll down, we have themes here. In the configuration file, we can change the colors as you can see. So let's uh, open that. Let's open the VS Code. And if we open the app providers, we have filament directory here. And inside we have the admin panel provider. So let's open that and here we have the colors the primary color is indigo as you can see and let's change that to be uh, yellow if i save this and let's open the project we have indigo if i refresh we have a yellow now also you can add your own primary colors you can uh, generate a color palette or say your primary and add your custom color here so let's copy this color here and i'm going to open my primary colors to change uh, this one and if i save so first let's add the hash here and let's open the project now if i refresh yeah we have a different color here okay let's go back the indigo save and let's see what we can change all that we can add also fonts so let's copy this font poppins and right now let's zoom it a little bit yeah you can see here the categories is going to change if we add the poppins font okay now uh, what i'm going to do let's uh, just do something like this here we have categories now if we add the opens and save come here and refresh yeah we change the fonts let's go back to default and let's zoom it and let's see what we can change other you can create a custom theme also so php artisan make filament theme or create the theme for the specific panel and it's going to be inside the resources CSS filament direct changing the logo also you can change the logo now inside the resources views a vendor filament panels component local blade so let's see that for that we need an image and let me add an image to this one so if I close this and inside the public I'm going to create a new directory and say image images okay and I'm going to add an image here so logo transparent this one and now let's go to the resources views vendor components and here we have the logo and let's change that so let's go here and copy this one and paste it now images logo.svg but in my case is images logo transparent png so logo dash transparent dot png 
let's save this and let's see on the browser what we have now if i refresh we have uh, our logo okay now if you don't see this uh, if you don't see the vendor here you need to run so let's open the terminal and you need to run the php artisan vendor publish hit enter and scroll down when we have the filament panels views you need to select this and then you can have the vendor publish and go inside the components and change the logo here okay you can disable the dark mode if you don't like a dark mode you can add also the custom uh, fav icon so let's add that one also as a fav icon so copy this and let's open the app providers filament and here i'm going to add the images and the same we have here so let's copy this just to save time and paste it okay save this and as you can see here is the fav icon okay friends that's it about this video how to customize the filament dashboard all the best and don't forget if you like a video like this subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends all the best